Let's look at an example of unit vectors. This particular example, we're going to deal with a three-dimensional problem. So we have our x, y, and z axis as, as drawn here in the figure. Now, we're interested in two points, points A and B, and point A is somewhere in this direction. It is one and a half meters perpendicular to the z axis, so this distance is 1.5 meters. The distance to the y-axis is 3.5 meters. This is 3.5 meters. And as I said before, this will be point A. Now point B is going to be in the xy plane, and it is somewhere around here. Right? For that point B, we're going to know the distance to the origin and an angle. So we know that this distance is 3.5 meters. And that angle to the x-axis, so let me put the angle over here, that angle is 30 degrees. So this is 30 degrees. And again, that is point B. So what we're interested in this particular example is to determine a unit vector that goes from B to A, right? So we need to find, need to find a unit vector, vector B, A, the unit, unit vector B, A. How do I visualize that? Well, so if we have a line that goes from B to A, right? So this is a line that goes from B to A. My unit vector is going to be uh, in that direction, but the magnitude is going to be equal to 1. So it's, it's perhaps something like this. This is U B A. And remember that hat indicates that this is a unit vector. The magnitude is equal to 1. All right, so that's going to be my strategy. My strategy is I need to find a position vector RB that is defining the position of B with respect to the origin. Then I need to find a position vector RA, which defines the position of A with respect to the origin. Then I'm going to find a position vector BA, and then I find the magnitude of that position vector BA, and then, and with that information, I'm able to calculate that UBA. So let's, let's look at that step by step. So the first thing I want to do is to uh, find that position vector RA, right? And as we've done before, that position vector RA can be expressed with respect to these distances. So RA... And there's nothing in the x direction, right? It's in the y, z plane. So it will be 0i. It is in the uh, negative direction of uh, uh, corresponding to the y-axis. So it will be minus 1.5j and 3.5k meters. Very good. The next step is to be able to find the position vector RB. So let's do position vector RB. All right, for RB, now what we have is this B is in the XY plane. And since this is in the XY plane, what I should be able to do is do a line that is perpendicular either to the x or the y axis. Doesn't matter, it will give me the same answer. But if I do one that is perpendicular here to the x axis, now I can visualize this triangle, right? From B to here to the origin, right? This is a right angle, and I should be able to calculate the, uh, the um, um, uh, express this in Cartesian vector form. So that will be. Rb is equal to my magnitude, 3.5, 
cosine of 30i plus 3.5. Uh, the sine uh, negative, right? Going in that direction. Negative 3.5 times the sine of 30. All right, let me change this sign. And this will be also in meters. So doing those calculations, I have the my RB will be 3.031 i minus 1.750 j in meters. Very good. So I have this vector that is defining the position of B, this vector that is defining the position of A. Now I can define a vector to define the position of A relative to B. And that's my position vector of BA. All right, so next step, find R B A. So my R B A it will be equal to, all right, so I have RB, my RA, remember is the head minus the tail, the head is A, so I have minus 1.5 minus 3.031. Oh, nope, wrong, wrong directions, that's that's common mistake sometimes, this is I, this is J, so I'm, I'm really mixing different directions which I shouldn't be doing, right? Okay. Let me erase that. All right. So what do we have? In I, we just have this one. So it will be 0 minus 3.031 A. J, we have um, A minus B. Okay, so minus 1.5 minus minus 1.750 j plus in k we have 3.5 and nothing in b so 3.5 minus 0 k okay. so r b a I get uh, that is minus 3.031i. This gives me plus 0.25j plus 3.5k in meters. All right. So this is the vector that defines a relative to B, or is the, is the, is the represented by an arrow from B to A, all the way to A. So it's not still, it's not the unit vector yet. Very good. So if we have this vector from B to A, and if we want, we want to find the unit vector, what we need to find is the magnitude of that vector, and then divide the vector by the magnitude, right? So let's define the magnitude of R B A. That will be the square root of 3.031 square plus 0.25 square plus 3.5 square. And that gives me, if my calculations are okay, 4.7 meters, 4.637 meters. Okay, very good. So now we have the magnitude, and what we need to do is take this RBA vector and divide it by the magnitude. So each of these components, the 3.031 divided by 4.637, the 0 0.25 by 4.637, and the 3.5 divided by 4.637. So my UBA, 
is R V A over the magnitude of R V A. Okay, how does that look like? Well, that looks like minus 3.031 over 4.637 I plus 0 0.25 over 4.637 J then plus 3.5 over 4.637 J. That gives me UBA will be equal to negative 0.654 I plus 5.39 times 10 to the minus 2 j plus 0 0.755 okay all right i'm not forgetting units uh, unit vectors are unitless because we are dividing units of meter meters over units of meters so give me unitless and this will be my final answer so to summarize, I got my position vectors to the points A and B, right, RA and RB, and then found my, um, my um, position vector BA, right, which is in this part over here. And then finally, I found the magnitude of my position vector BA and found my unit vector by dividing that RBA divided by that magnitude.